Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about protocols, which I did another video on protocols before. Uh, so check that out in the description, uh, but let's jump into it. So another thing that my chat pointed out to me when I was talking about protocols is that there's actually a way to check them at runtime. Uh, it's imperfect, but it's a good first level approximation of some protocols. And so I'm going to show you an example of that. So if we make a uh, protocol, so from typing import protocol, and uh, I think in the previous video I made a protocol for indexable, and so we'll make that same protocol. Indexable protocol, and this had def double under index, uh, which returned an integer. And that was just our protocol. And so we knew that if we made a class, which you know doesn't extend from this type, so it doesn't know that this type exists, and we make our own index here that returns an int, and maybe it does return two. Um, at type checking time, we can say that x as an indexable is equal to the value c, and this will type check properly. So for instance, if we virtual mvf, and we pip install mypy, uh, mypy will know about this. So we'll be able to do mypy t.py, and it should pass. Okay, cool. And it does. So at type checking time, uh, MyPy knows that this class satisfies this protocol here. However, this is only at type checking time. It doesn't know how to do this at runtime. So if you were to do something like, you know, if is instance, uh, maybe C equals C, uh, if is instance C comma indexable, um, print it is indexable, else print not indexable. And actually, they've put a, a, a very smart error method in here. So if you try and do this, it gives you a hint at what's wrong here. Um, in fact, MyPy even gives you a hint here. That's cool. Uh, Python 3t.py. You'll see that this you get this type error. Instance and class checks can only be used with runtime checkable protocols. And so if we do that from typing import runtime checkable, um, if you decorate your protocol class with this special decorator, uh, now these is instance checks will work. And so both you know, the execution and uh, MyPy will pass here. Now note one thing that's, that's kind of weird or unfortunate about this. It, it makes sense given the implementation. Um, and it would be prohibitively expensive to actually recurse into each of these types. If this were to, for some reason, return a type that's incompatible with the protocol, so let's say it returned a float instead, uh, my is actually happy with this, which is interesting. Oh, it would be unhappy if I did x indexable equals c. So this will this will error in my pi, surely. Yeah. So you can see that you know these these members have a conflict, and so that's not possible. Um, but this same is instance check that we did for before will still succeed. So be very careful with this. Um, the runtime checkable only checks the names of the attributes and doesn't actually check their type signatures at all. So you know. <laughs> be, be careful where you use runtime checkable. It's definitely useful for like making sure attributes are there, but it's less useful for checking like, is it exactly the type signature that I expect? Uh, you could of course inspect the type signature and look at, you know, let's see, t.py uh, c.index dot annotations. Yeah, so you can look, you can look at the actual annotations here to see what the types are. Um, and of course we do p.index.annotations, annotations. P is not, oh right, we called it index. I was using p in my index, so I was using p as my uh, sample protocol. But yeah, you could you could in inspect these and see that they are different and uh, you know act according to that. Uh, but runtime checkable does not do that. It just does the baseline uh, attribute check. This is very similar to the abstract base classes in collections.abc. Import collections.abc, collections.abc. There's a whole bunch of them here. Um, these work essentially the same way. They just check for particular attributes on your um, on your object and give you instance. And I guess you also get subclass checks as well. I didn't mention that, but is subclass uh, C of indexable. So that should print true. Um, and these these collections and or these abstract base classes in collections.abc also give you that same set of things. 
Uh, but anyway, that's runtime checkable for protocols. Hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.